Okay, today we're going to be solving a partial differential equation. This equation right here is known as the wave equation because it describes a lot of wave-like phenomenon. So, here we go. It's a second order differential equation and we have the second derivative with respect to time being proportional to the first, the second derivative with respect to space, okay? Okay. So here's what I'm going to do. First, we're going to subtract this from both sides. And I'm going to solve this in an unorthodox way. I'm just going to take the derivative to be used as an operator, right? So here is it where the derivative is an operator. And then I'm going to factor out the u, right? And that makes sense because the derivative is linear. And this is really cool. And I, it, it blows my mind that you can do this with derivatives. But it turns out you can actually sort of factor them so that you can get an equation like this. And now you can go ahead and do a nice little variable, a which is x minus t, and b which is x plus t. And now you have this equation, a b u equals zero. This is pretty easy to solve just by inspection. Take a look at it. And it makes sense why this right here would be a solution. So it makes sense. Because if you take u, if you take, let's say, b of u, if you take the derivative with respect to b, this f of a, it just goes away because it's a constant with respect to b, and what we get is g prime b, right? Okay, and then if you take a b u, well, this is just a constant with respect to a, so it's going to be zero, and yes, it does work out nicely. Okay. That's pretty great. So now we just substitute back in our x and t, and we get a solution. So this is a general solution for this PDE right here, this partial differential equation. Some things to note. f and g obviously have to be um, second, they have to be differentiable to, they have to have a second derivative. And one very useful solution for the wave equation is the harmonic solution. So if we take f and g to be sines and cosines. So you could take a sine of x minus t plus b cosine of x plus t. And what this basically means is you're having a superposition of left traveling waves and right traveling waves. And you're basically adding them up to get weird looking waves right here and you know if adding up, up a bunch of waves sounds familiar <laughs> Fourier series yeah you can actually the person that derived Fourier series Fourier was doing it in the context of solving a PDE very similar to this one and I will definitely be making a video on that